Welcome to the Sonic Wall tutorial for the MSSP monthly functions in My Sonic Wall, which are available exclusively to qualified MSSP partners who have signed up for MSSP monthly billing. Sonic Wall's MSSP monthly program enables qualified MSSPs to purchase and provision eligible security products themselves using the MSSP monthly features in My Sonic Wall without requiring activation keys or pre purchasing credits. MSSP Monthly helps MSSPs turbocharge their operations through faster onboarding of new tenants, granular provisioning of products, and simplified user access management. To get started with MSSP operations, log into MySonic Wall, then click the MSSP Tenants link under the MSSP Monthly menu. This is where you can see a list of all your tenants, create new tenants, and select, provision, and activate products. To create a new tenant, we'll click the Provision button, then select Tenant. We'll select the MSSP we want to associate this new tenant with, then fill in all the required fields. We'll click the Next, Add Products button. We'll select Capture Client from the list, then select Advanced as the service type. The Friendly Name field is auto-populated for us. You can configure an upper limit on the number of license units or choose no limit. We'll enter an upper limit of 20, even though Capture Client billing is based on commissioned clients. You can enter an expiration date for a product or set the product to never expire. And finally, we'll select a data center for our cloud region. Capture Client is supported by the North American and European regions. We'll click Provision to finish the setup, and the system notifies us that the product was successfully provisioned and provides a summary of the details. We'll click Done, and our new tenant shows up in the list, along with 20 licenses for Capture Client. We'll also add an NSV270 virtual firewall to our new tenant by clicking Provision again, then selecting Product. We'll select our MSSP, then the tenant we just created. We'll select NSV270 virtual firewall from the product list, then select Advanced for our service type. We can enter a friendly name in this case, then enter an expiration date for this product. The HA pair option allows you to also install a second NSV for high availability, but we'll go with a standalone installation. We'll click Provision to complete our setup, and the system will verify that the firewall was successfully provisioned and provide a summary. We'll click Done, and the NSV270 shows up in our tenant. So in just a few minutes, we have a new tenant up and running with two security products, which shows how quick and easy it is for MSSP monthly partners to onboard new customers with security services. You can also perform additional actions from the tenants page, depending on the product. The console link enables you to open the Capture Client console within Capture Security Center. The edit link lets you modify some of the product parameters, including service type, unit count, and expiration date. And the menu lets you download product information in CSV or Excel format, transfer a product to other tenants, delete a product from a tenant, or remove a product from your MSSP monthly account. The Access Management link under MSSP Monthly shows a summary of users and user groups, and you can add users by clicking the Invite New User button. We'll use the current MSSP, add the user to one of our predefined user groups, and select a contact type. We'll enter the new user's email address, along with a first and last name. Then click Invite to add the user and send the invitation. After the new user accepts the invitation, they show up in the list of approved users with their access scope and permissions set through their group assignment. The User Groups tab lets you manage your defined groups. You can add and delete users to an existing group. You can also modify an existing group's scope of operations either to access all tenants or be limited to certain tenants only and you can set permissions for each of the available products and functions. We'll create a new group by clicking the New User Group link, then enter a name. We'll click Add User to bring up a list of available users, then select a user and click the Add button. We can also invite users through the Invite New User process we showed earlier. We'll modify our group to limit access to certain tenants only. And we'll finish up by modifying permissions for some products and functions.
For more information about SonicWall firewalls and capture client, visit sonicwall.com. And be sure to subscribe to the SonicWall YouTube channel to stay up to date on new video tutorials.